Okay, so I'm with Max, and I had to get rid of Molly because she was ruining the training, but I am got him understanding it's something to do with the object, and that you've got to push it forward to have them pick it up. So that's where I'm at. So he's got that default down. I don't say no, or there's no no or anything. to see his mouth. <laughs> So he's, I got him biting at it. I've gotten him to pick it up a couple of times. You've got to be fast, though, if you're going to use these little pig things. Uh -huh. Yay. <laughs> Start. That's where you're starting. You're getting the behavior. It really doesn't matter what the object is. He's got the fighting part. He said, is he putting it all together? Not necessarily yet, but it doesn't matter because you're getting the behavior. Uh -huh. And I 
The first time I got him to do it, I put it on the ground, so that's why I'm repeating that rather than insisting you pick it up off of here. If you remember, that's how Anka started out, too. Very apathetic. It's a behavior that they all have. You've just got to kind of link it together. Uh, uh, yay. So I am, I've got my bucket. I've got a defective bucket, though, unless they chewed it. This is staying here, but it doesn't stay. Boy, I got no connection here. Oh, there we go. I don't know what my new faster Wi-Fi is doing. But anyway, so I'm sort of off to the side. But the yellow thing, is, I think it's still good to have the yellow thing there because it's just sort of setting the scene. There's no, no. If he tries to get into the, the basket, there's no, 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 no. That would be counterproductive. He's looking around trying to find something. And I'm trying to use this hand. get rid of Molly though she's 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 ruining my training I'm gonna work with her later though uh, uh. so if you said what's the thing now probably to put tape on them like I did with Anka yeah I'm gonna write a whole book about this someday if you said like next week I gotta get with Sharon this weekend and work on the ebook uh, uh. so I got my behavior if you said well with the right object doesn't matter All right, let me go see if I can put a little tape on there and still get the behavior. That's what you're trying to do. So put a little tape on there and see if I can still get the Okay. Oh, hi, Kayla. I don't know if you were here yesterday, but I've got him picking it up now. So what I've done is just added this tape. He didn't, he didn't do it at all yesterday. If you said, what did he do yesterday? He was interested in it. And I went with that. He said, well, sort of 
You've got to say to yourself, in order to pick something up, they've got to look at it first. And he's more, the first time he did it, it was over here. His mouth is so hard to see. <laughs> so I'm not using the word yes, none of these things. It's just, that's a well-known secret in dog training. If you laugh when they do something, they'll repeat it. Better watch out if you swallow it. Even if he did, it's not going to do anything. <laughs> you better be fast. His mouth is hard to see. I can't really see what's going on once his face goes down. But I've got my behavior. He said it's a coincidence. How many coincidences are there? B, if you said even if it's not on a conscious level. <laughs> Yay. He's my best friend. He's my best friend. <laughs> if you said it's only picking it up because it wants to eat it. He is, but that doesn't matter. Less at this point, when you're shaping it about what their motivation is, right? You're, you're getting the behavior. If I can't get this behavior to exist. <laughs> but you better have something good. If you said, what do I have? The chicken nuggets. The chicken nuggets. If you said, what about milk bones or something? No, it's not going to work. You're going to have to have something better than the... <laughs> so now I've managed to get him to pick it up every time I put it down. And I did a video earlier. I just got him to do it one time. <laughs> Such exciting work. It really is. And this is a more difficult case. A lot of them... <sighs> there's a certain percentage of them that'll do it the very first time you put something down. You're gonna have to, whatever you've got for the treats better be better than this. So if you said honey battered nuggets are better than that, yeah. <laughs> I hope you're there, Aaron, because this is what you need to do with yours. And you saw yesterday, he, he sort of halfway did it and then he got bored and sort of went off and started drinking water. I'm ready to pull my hand away, though. The opposite of that would be saying, get it, get it, get it. As soon as it's a miss, I just, and if you say he doesn't, he notices it. <laughs> so that's where I'm starting out, and I don't know where I came up with the pig roll thing, but probably some older dog or something, but it doesn't matter. You're getting the behavior, and that Anka's proof positive that it can all be replaced with something else later. If I sat out here and struggled and struggled and struggled, I wish I would have known this when I started training that bull terrier because it took me literally a month just to get him to pick something up. So when he looks back at me, I don't point. I pull my hand away. <laughs> I'm kind of fishing it out of his mouth. His mouth is hard to see. He's so hairy. He's such a cute dog. He's such a cute dog. If 
said it's a coincidence. How many coincidences can you have? That's a huge leap from yesterday, and I've got the video from earlier. You're going to have to be ready, though. Part of you's got to say, and it is hand-eye coordination. I'm going to use one hand to do the treats and one hand to take the object. And I can show you plenty of videos where my hands start getting mixed up. All right, hang on. Let me go get some more feet. Okay, so... Hi, Daniel. Anyway, so what I've done now is... I've now sort of... You've got to have commonalities. So if this thing looks like this, then there's a commonality. I'm very deliberate, sitting down, feet pretty much together. And there's no no. If he starts to grab something, <laughs> it's close. So you can kind of see where I'm going with that. He's very smart. He laid down, then he looked at me and said, okay, gotcha. Got it. Oops. I thought it was in his mouth. I'm the opposite of pointing, though. When he looks back, my hands have gone up. All right, he's going to go get a drink, probably. But that's... I think it's important to have the bucket, and I think it's important to say, if you said am I right-handed or left-handed, I'm right-handed, so my hands go up, I'm right-handed, so it would be easier to grab the thing with the right hand than it would be give the treat. So whatever your weaker hand is, if you said it would be the opposite, I don't think so. I think your I think your right hand would need to be the more coordinated. Anyway, but I had Molly doing it too. I'm gonna get her back out in a minute. But these are kind of the things that I use. That this little shoe, as you can see, has assisted many a dog. I don't know where I got the the idea. Oh. Maybe it was for Mark's dog. He's, he doesn't even get to make the dog do it anymore, but as soon as it comes back, I will. Your mindset is, though, they're all going to pick something up. Okay, he might be full, but you saw where, where I went with that, and I'm going to set up the same scenario again. The handler's seated. You've got this thing. Even if just for a prop, 
It's sort of like when you go into Home Depot, Lowe's, they all look the same. walks away, I don't say or do anything. He might be done for the day, but no, he's, he's got one more in him, probably. That's where I started, though. Just a little bite on it. He sees by me pulling my hand back there. Okay, oh, it's my move, it's my move. It is like chess. If you said, no, when I play chess, I move the other people's things around. It's, this dog is hard, I can't see its mouth. I'm doing it all blind. <laughs> you better be fast though. And I, if you said, where did you learn that? From the little puppies. Little puppies, it almost has to be instant. Whoops. In fact, sometimes with the little puppies, you're squeezing it in their mouth. <laughs> He's such a good boy. But that's where I'm at. I'm gonna start, once I've got the behavior, <laughs> then I'm just gonna look for similar objects if you said, it just honestly, it does kind of be the same size and. I like just because there's not going to be too hard to find stuff that looks like that. So I'm giving him a little hint when he it's all very micro though. It's all very micro. You got micro tasks and you've got macro tasks. If you said what's the macro? The recall. I'm super pleased because yesterday, again, they're not gonna have a long attention span. It's, it's in the beginning, especially if they're apathetic. They're just, that just does not exist in them. It's like, man, I can't pay attention to anything. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're there, Aaron, or I'm gonna send you this because you've gotta be careful. You said, what did happen if he swallowed it? That little bit of cloth tape is not going to do anything. The sticky part's already on the inside or whatever, but I'm going to be fast enough that that doesn't happen. <laughs> so if you said, how many times is he? He's done it 20, 30 times now. We're starting to get a behavior. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> if you said, what if one was real possessive and snapped and growled? I wouldn't do it. <laughs> if one was real possessive and snapped it, and I'll show you that, that little French bulldog, Henny. The very first time I put down this like little fuzzy microphone cover thing, y'all, he grabbed it up and it was his. The very, very first attempt. <laughs> so I had to really be fast or he was gonna take off with it. So this dog is, it is a biter. I mean, he's a biter and he's definitely dog aggressive. He tried to go after Sonar. But he's not, doesn't seem to have that possessive. 
I, I say that and then he'll do it. <laughs> never underestimate. I just say never say never. <laughs> I can't see his mouth. I'm doing it blind. Anyway, any of them, any of them can be learn this. So I'm getting a behavior. If you said, even if consciously he's not, the subconscious is saying, this is how, this is what works. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. And he wants me to like him. He wants me to like him. So I got the behavior to occur over and over and over, and I'll show you the earlier video. I'll upload that. It occurred once. It occurred once, but I was fast enough to say that worked. And I had good enough treats that were better than this. Again, it's like if someone gave you a penny, but then said, give me the penny, I'll give you a dollar. You're gonna do that. Anyway, that's super, super exciting. And that was, you're just moving forward from the day before. And the, yesterday, I did get him to pick it up a couple times, but then he kind of got bored or whatever. So I got him to do it over and over and over again. And that's your job. When you're shaping it, get the behavior to occur so that you can be the cheerleader for that particular behavior. Anyway, and I'll be back with that again tomorrow. Oh, crap, my battery's dying. But I think you can see how that's, that's going to work on any dog. If it works on, again, this dog is maybe almost three years old. It has no formal training. And you're not going to be able to count on pet dog. If you said, does the dog need to have retrieve drive? Absolutely not. This, this doesn't have anything to do with retrieve drive. So it's just a deliver to hand. And for service work or whatever, the deliver to hand, nothing is thrown. People aren't throwing things and saying, go and get it and bring it to me. The dog is picking up stationary objects and bringing it to the people. So anyway, all right, be right back.